Hey Taurus, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on? How you guys doing? I hope you had a good Thanksgiving holiday weekend and um, I just want to put a little reading out there for y'all because I haven't been around in a minute. My life has been insanely busy uh, doing personal readings and um, I, just, uh, I just have not had time. So here I am. Let's do a reading for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this may or may not resonate with you. The only way to know your real story is to have your cards read. This is all just for entertainment purposes only, right? A few things you need to know about me before we get started is I have a tendency to be irreverent. I probably will swear and you will hear me smoke my vape on camera. If you don't like any of that, then this is not the place for you at the neighborhood. It's just a little too rough and you might want to go on down the road where somebody's going to give you some rainbows and some unicorns and some happy shit. All right. All right, let's do this. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it, and I will sew together a story. If that clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward that portion of this video, and we will pick up right where we leave off. All right, All right let's do this. Y'all gather up around the table. Gather up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your feet up. Put your earbuds in. Throw it up on a big screen if you want to. Take a lunch break. Take a smoke break. Let's throw down some cards for Taurus. All right. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? All right. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what... Goodness gracious. Taurus wants to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about Taurus and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. I'm going to cut the deck three times, and I'm going to pull straight from the top. Let's go. One, two, three, two, and three. Bottom of the deck is the Hermit in reverse. Interesting. Withdrawal, isolation, loneliness, the Empress in reverse, and the Prince of Cups all on the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. All right. First, ooh, the first card out is the Hierophant. Can you all see that? I hope so. I'm moving, so all of my equipment is packed up, and I'm just kind of doing a willy-nilly thing here because I feel the need to read. So, the Hierophant. All right, we're going to have to come way over here with all this. Hold up. Hold up a minute. Okay. Commitments, obligations, belief systems. The lovers. Woo, commitment, lovers, relationships, choices. The princess of wands in reverse. Frustrations, maybe. The prince of swords in reverse. And the ace of wands in reverse. All right. Interesting. The alchemist, manifestation. The hangman in reverse. Resistance, delays, stalling. The prince of wands in reverse, in the center of the reading, more frustrations, the high priestess, your intuition, and the eight of wands in reverse, not taking any action. The nine of swords in reverse, painful lesson, anxiety, despair, the four of cups in reverse, emotional apathy, the six of wands, victory, progress, success, the eight of swords, all tied up in your head. The, oh, you guys can't even see these down here, can you? To the Queen of Swords. All right. To the Queen of Swords. Okay. This Queen of Swords is, yeah, there she is, is uh, some kind of decisions. The Six of Swords to leave something behind to the Fool. So you can have a new beginning and a new journey. Four of Swords coming to terms, Ten of Cups in reverse, Two of Wands in reverse. See, now we're just repeating. We're repeating the whole story here. The whole story, temperance, right, mentality, blockage, blockage, 
King of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Okay, that's where we'll stop. All right, you guys. Let's see what all this is about. Let me get a drink of my lemonade. Can you all see that? All right, it's a little weird, but sorry. It's the best I can do right now. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's use these to clarify. So the Hierophant, the Hierophant, Hierophant, hmm? the Hierophant, the card of Taurus, definitely the card of Taurus. What is this about? The Eight of Cups in reverse, interesting. Seven of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups. Wow, look at that. To the Lovers. Oh, tell me about this spirit. Tell me about the Lovers to the Sun happiness, success, vitality, seeing things clearly. Can you give me any indication of who this is or what this is? The Page of Wands, possibly somebody younger than you. Interesting. Anything else? Anything else? It's fire energy, right? So it's not real like deep committed kind of stuff. Ooh, and look at that. The Two of Cups. I cannot make this up. Gotcha. The Princess of Wands in reverse to the Six So, first card out the box is the Hierophant. Um, it is Taurus, of course, but it is also um, about commitments, obligations, marriage, possibly, to the lovers. What's that about? Well, there is a love relationship coming towards you, Taurus. Buckle up, because here it comes. Buckle up. There's a relationship coming, okay? Okay. The Hierophant's clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is um, emotional detachment. Seven of Swords in reverse, breaking free from a futile mentality. So what this is saying is that someone is coming towards you, and that's in the very next, well, the Knight of Cups right here, right? Someone is coming towards you with an offer of some kind of relationship, Okay, I also want to point out the Hierophant to the Lovers is a, um, a divinely orchestrated relationship of some sort. Okay, but you, Taurus, you are stuck in a place of emotional disinterest. Seven of Swords in reverse says you have to break free from this futile mentality, Knight of Cups, so you can engage with this opportunity when it comes. The sun on the lovers, happiness, success, vitality. But first you have to see very clearly that you are stuck in a futile mentality of emotional disinterest when it comes to this relationship or a relationship. Spirit says we are trying to bless you. We're trying to bring into your life something that is important for you to pay attention to. Is it forever and always? Amen. Who knows? But it's extremely important for you right now. And there is a relationship on its way. The Page of Wands, there is a message. The Knight of Cups, there is a message. The Two of Cups about a relationship Three of Cups, getting together perhaps with someone that you used to know or meeting a new person um, for drinks, for dinner, at a party, getting together in some kind of social setting. So there is an invitation coming to you, spirit. <laughs> There's an invitation coming to you, Taurus, the Hierophant and the Lovers, and it is divinely orchestrated into your life. This relationship is supposed to be, and it is supposed to happen, and it's coming. But Spirit wants you to know, Six of Swords in reverse. You are stuck in some kind of mental baggage. Princess of Cups, Princess of Wands in reverse, because you are disinterested. So this person's coming to you with this 
with this offer, right? And you are going to meet up with this person or meet this person someplace. And there is a, a, a click, a spark, but Taurus comes back and says, no, 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 no. I have way too much mental baggage. I am emotionally disinterested and I'm not about ex exploration and discovery of this whole thing. I'm just not about it just not about it. Perhaps this isn't your type of person. Perhaps this isn't who it is you think that you want to be with, but it's somebody and they are significant to this particular path in your life. The Prince of Swords in reverse. Prince of Swords in reverse to the Knight of Swords in the upright. This tells me perhaps this is someone that you have not communicated with in a long time. Um, and I hate to keep bringing up the past, but it's here, right? The Prince of Swords in reverse is about no communication. Prince of Swords in reverse is also a card about someone who needs to get control of their thoughts, which could also lend itself to this situation because Spirit is telling you, you need to get a hold of your thoughts because um, where you are nested in your subconscious right now is not conducive for your future because this relationship is conducive for your future. Knight of Swords in the upright says communication, decisions, talking about things, straightforward pointed communication, getting your thoughts under control, perhaps. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Again, more disinterest, right? It's about not having a desire, okay? To the high priestess in reverse, don't ignore your intuition because the high, the hierophant and the lovers right here, right? This is internal because this is the higher power. It's major arcana, right? And you're going to know when you meet this person or when this person comes back around that this is this, you like it, okay? You like it, but you are not engaging with it because of things that have happened either in your own personal past or the past of this relationship right here. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Lockdown self-protection mode. Lockdown self-protection mode. Just not even willing to engage. All right. The Magician. Manifestation. Can you all still see? Can you see what I'm doing here? Okay. The Magician manifestation right out the box lesson number one of the major arcana where your mind goes your reality becomes remember they were telling you with the seven of swords in reverse it's time to break free from a futile mindset what does that mean well wherever your subconscious mind is rooted in all of this this refusal here wherever your subconscious mind is rooted um you need to take some some note of of that to the Queen of Swords and figure out what it is you want. What do you want? Speak your truth, perhaps. Perhaps it's truth being spoken to you. Perhaps you're manifesting this. If this is someone coming back from the past, perhaps you are manifesting this into your life on a subconscious level and you don't even realize it. Interesting. Hold on. Smoke break. Drink break. The Queen of Swords is about someone who uh, doesn't mess words, right? She doesn't mix them. They're not ooey gooey. She says what she means and she means what she says. Queen of Swords is also about guarding your mind, guarding your thoughts, perhaps guarding your mind and guarding your thoughts so this can be manifested into your life. Making some serious decisions seven of cups options choices and decisions in this situation you have some decisions to make about some options that you are going to be presented with in your life and the ten of cups in reverse talks about the pain that you are holding on to either your past all the way around that is preventing you from being enthusiastic about engaging in a new relationship or the past of this specific relationship that keeps you disinterested, okay? All right, where are we now? So, 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 the hanged man in reverse to the nine of swords in reverse, the, huh, um, the 
Prince of Wands in reverse to all of this and the High Priestess in reverse to the Five of Swords. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm keeping my, my order here. So sorry about the squish space. If y'all want to see some real readings, go back and look at my older videos. But like I said, all my stuff is packed and this is what you get. So the hangman in reverse in the center. No, not in the center. Hangman in re oh this goes up here too. The hanged man in reverse. This is um frustration delays it is um stuck energy stuck energy the king of swords death in reverse the two of wands in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse so this person is bringing a message to you dear taurus okay the hangman in reverse represents um resistance um, delays stalling okay this person has been resistant to engaging with you coming back to you somehow some way or this is your resistance to engage in any kind of romantic or emotional endeavor and or both okay the King of Swords, some truth is going to be spoken here. Some serious truth, because we have the Queen of Swords over here, okay? This, I do believe, is about a conversation, okay? Death in reverse. This person is going to tell you that they have had a massive, massive personal transformation. Massive personal transformation. The hangman in reverse is perhaps your resistance to believing this person or engaging with this person. Ten of cups in reverse because they either didn't come through in the past or you have subconscious emotional woundings from your past life. Okay. This person has had a personal transformation. If this is about you, you need to have a personal transformation. Two of Wands in reverse, Fear of the Unknown, and the Nine of Swords in reverse, Painful Lesson, right? You're having a hard time believing this person has had a personal transformation because you learned a very hard, serious, painful lesson from your past, and now you're not so sure that you want to engage in this at all in your future. And if this is you with hangups, emotional hangups from your past all the way around, what this is saying is that um, you can't build the kind of future that you want to build L lingering in the painful lesson of the past. There needs to be a personal transformation. You need to stop resisting. Stop resisting what spirit is trying to manifest into your life because it is a meaningful relationship that needs to happen either way whether it's you kicking and screaming because you don't want to repeat some kind of painful lesson from the past or a painful lesson from this relationship. Prince of Wands in reverse. In the center of the reading, frustrations, delays, frustrations and delays. To the King of Pentacles, the Lovers in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the world. So what this is telling me Again, it's kind of touching on the past and reiterating the past a little bit, okay? What this is saying to me is that um, first and foremost, you are frustrated because there seems to be no one out there that can quite make the grade for your King of Pentacles. And perhaps that's why Spirit is telling you very, very seriously and strongly in this first little group of cards here that you need to, to, to stop your stinking thinking and um, pay attention to what's going on around you because there is someone coming towards you that you would never in a million years have thought that you would get together with. Again, maybe you're overlooking them because they're not your type of person, or perhaps you're not interested because you've already had a go round with this person. But you're frustrated with romance because you can't quite find someone that, that meets the bar. The lover's in reverse. Um, maybe you thought that this person, if this is from your past, that this person was going to be your king of pentacles and it didn't work out and that's where your saltiness is coming from. Or nobody makes your grade, the lovers in reverse, right? Nobody's worth your time or your energy. And the wheel in reverse says this is a blockage either way to your future. 
Spirit cannot divinely orchestrate the steps of your path if you are kicking and screaming and fighting against them. They can only do things for you in your own free will. And the world comes on top of this and talks about the end of a cycle, the end of a phase of your life, the end of the end of the reasons why you can't find someone that fits the shoes of the King of Pentacles. It's a whole new chapter of your life, a whole new blank slate. You have learned what it is that you need to learn in this particular phase of your life, and now it's time to step forward and begin to kinetically apply those lessons to your life so you can engage in a brand new cycle and a brand new journey. And that absolutely positively includes some kind of very, very, very significant relationship in your life, whether it's new or from the past. The High Priestess, Spirit is speaking to you, heart of hearts and soul of souls, Five of Swords in reverse, they are telling you that you need to let go of some kind of mentality that you have been holding on to with a white knuckle grip for way, way too long. The Five of Swords is a win at all costs, white knuckle grip. This is the way that it is. This is the way that it's going to be. I am not going to compromise. This is how I win in this situation. And this is the mentality that I'm holding on to. The Eight of Wands in reverse says this is, is stalling your forward momentum. Temperance, come to terms with this. Come to terms with all of this. Temper yourself. Temper your belief system and your mindset in this situation because, again, to reiterate, either someone's coming back from your past that truly has had some kind of transformation or you are meeting someone new and your lingering woundings from your past are keeping you from engaging somehow, some way. But your apathy towards this whole romantic thing is imper it's imperative that you get a hold of it because spirit is trying to divinely orchestrate a huge momentous turning point in your life towards the path of your best and highest good. And they need you to pull it together with temperance eight of pentacles and work on what it is that you need to work on, work out what it is that you need to work out within yourself, the painful lessons from the past with the nine of swords in reverse, four of cups in reverse, the emotional apathy from the past, king of wands in reverse. This is a place that your flesh wants you to stay. They don't want you to grow and prosper and step into a divinely orchestrated path that is meaningful for your life so you can begin to accomplish what it is you came here to accomplish. They don't want that. They want you to stay stuck and stagnated and therefore your flesh with the ego of the King of Wands in reverse is what is keeping you from fully and completely engaging in the true spiritual path of your life because your mind is talking you out of your intuition. Your intuition is telling you to prepare yourself, get ready, come to terms with all of these loose ends that you have flying around and stop being emotionally apathetic. Eight of Pentacles. Work on it. Work it out. Deal with your issues. Painful lesson from the past. Nine of Swords in reverse to the King of Wands in reverse. Perhaps this used to be an egocentric, self-centered person that's coming back from your past. Six of Wands says there is victory, progress, and success to be had here. The star says this relationship is purposeful for your life. The Two of Pentacles says that this is, it's balancing, it, it's balancing out and you need to make a priority, the tower, stepping away from whatever has happened to you that is causing you to be disinterested in the path that spirit is trying to lead you on. Whatever this implosion in your past was, this tower that either has made you bitter about all relationships or has made you bitter about this particular relationship, you need to stand up, brush yourself off, come to some terms with some truth, Knight of Wands, and take some inspired action to move forward in a different direction in your life. Because Spirit's trying to get something going on for you that's important for your path, but they can't seem to catch your attention about it. 
Eight of Swords, because you're all tied up in your head. Ace of Cups in reverse with all kinds of hurt feelings. Queen of Swords, all walled off about everything. However, this Queen of Swords also says some truth is coming because it allows you to escape some kind of mental baggage that you have carried for a long time. The Fool, and it sets you free to go in a new beginning and a new journey and a new direction in your life. It sets you free. This Fool is a leveling up of your spirituality. Why? Because you put the flesh down and you follow where spirit is trying to lead you, whether you understand it or whether you like it or not. You follow the way that your intuition is leading you. It is your compass calibrating you to your true north. Knight of Wands, there's messages coming in to you. The Seven of Swords about betrayal and deception from the past. Three of Wands in reverse. A lack of foresight, you don't see it coming. Six of Cups in reverse. A past that has yet to be reconciled. Okay? So there is some communication coming to you. All right? And it's directly about betrayal and deception that has happened in the past. Three of sword, three of wands in reverse talks about a lack of foresight. Six of cups in reverse talks about being stuck in the past or unable to reconcile the past. Four of swords coming to terms with grief, sorrow, and pain. So there is a conversation, King and Queen of Swords up here, a conversation that is going to be had somehow, some way in your life with a person that I believe is coming from your past, okay? Maybe you are burying the hatchet with um, a mother, a father, a, a bad relationship of some sort, and it opens the door for you to step into this new relationship or you're burying the hatchet with someone from your past that truly has had a personal transformation. There's communication about betrayal and deception. You don't see it coming, and it, it brings closure to the past. The Four of Swords is coming out of the Three of Swords, right? He's coming to terms with grief, sorrow, and pain in his mind and bringing stability to it with the Fourth Sword. What's it about? Well, the Ten of Cups, hurt and pain from the past. The Two of Wands in reverse. The Princess of Cups in reverse. The Two of Swords in reverse. To the King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So what is it? Uh, the what is it in the Three of so in the Four of Swords? Okay, the Four of Swords right there, right? The guy coming to terms with the Three of Swords about what? About some kind of emotional fulfillment that they were counting on that did not happen. Coming to terms with it. All right. The Two of Wands in reverse. The Princess of Cups in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse to the King of Cups. So the, you had big feels for this person, big, 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 soulful feels for this person, and it did not work the way that you had wanted it to work. And from that point forward, you have stopped creating emotionally with anyone. That's why they're telling you, you got to get ready because this is your path, not this. Okay, the two of swords in reverse um, at a crossroads, all walled off in your mind because you had big feels for this person and they left you out in the cold. Uh huh. Temperance again, pull it together. Five of swords, this mentality that you've been holding on to ever since this happened, the chariot in reverse is not productive for your life. It's, it's not conducive. The chariot in reverse is a blockage. It's brakes on the wheel of fortune. It's a blockage. You cannot go forward. You have to put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do so the chariot can pop in the upright and escort you down the path. What do you got to come to terms with? Well, the queen of cups in reverse, your hurt feelings, your wounded emotions, your wounded emotions to the wheel in reverse. What I say, it's a blockage to the wheel. The king of wands to the queen of pentacles to the queen of wands in reverse. This person, there's a couple different messages here, okay? This person is getting out of a relationship and they are coming directly towards you, okay? This person, 
um, is the object of your desire with the King of Wands. You want to be their Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands could be saying that your needs weren't met in the past. Queen of Wands could be saying that you hold some resentment and a grudge against this person. Queen of Wands in reverse could be saying that they have a crazy person that they're trying to get away, away from. Queen of Wands in reverse is about your needs not being met in the past. Queen of Pentacles is who you want to be to this King of Wands person. You do have to be careful, though, because um, fire and earth um, can be quite hot uh, together. They, they, they can be. They can be quite hot together because the fire scorches the earth, but the earth is immovable, so it frustrates the fire right? So there's some dynamics here, perhaps from the past that you need to come to terms with. I'm going to clarify this King of Wands real quick too. Tell me more about the King of Wands, please. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Tell me more about this, please. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Yep. 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 You want, oh, you wanted to be this person's Queen of Pentacles and they chose someone else, whether you're man, woman, he, she, they, whatever, uh, that you, you wanted to be this person's Queen of Pentacles and they chose someone else. This left you, this devastated your confidence, devastated your self-esteem. Mm -hmm, it did. Devastated your confidence, devastated your self-esteem. Queen of Pentacles to the Eight of Swords in reverse. But now you get a second chance at this. Now there's a new perspective. This person's coming to tell you some things um, that are going to make it make a difference. The Three of Wands. Anticipate it. Expect it. It's coming. It's co it's coming. I'm sorry I got the hiccups all of a sudden. It's coming. Anything else you want to say about any of this? King of Cups. Your person is changing. They are. Your, your person has changed, is changing. You need to change. The whole thing needs to change. This is a general reading, you guys. I have no clue what it is that I'm talking about here because I don't know who I'm reading for. The only way to know your true story is to have your cards read. That is the only way. So, Spirit, can you give us a timeline here of some sort? Can you give us a timeline here of some sort? Seven personal growth. Oh my gosh, I cannot make this stuff up, you guys. So what was this whole reading about? Well, it's about personal growth, right? It's about you coming to terms with some bullshit from your past, whether it's the past past, your parents, your childhood, your previous relationships, whether it is this relationship right here, but you have been walled off for a long time and you have to come to terms with your own bullshit in order for spirit to be able to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path because it, it is your flesh understanding that keeps you attached to the bullshit and it's your spiritual understanding that is going to catapult you down the path and the purpose of your life. It's your choice. It's free will. And they want you to understand that if you will just point your free will in the direction of spiritual growth and spiritual understanding, you will have personal growth, which will allow the universe to work in your life and bring this divinely orchestrated relationship to you. It is important and significant for your life one way or another. It is important and it is significant. Personal growth. This card indicates a time of significant growth and improvement where you're, when, you're, when you are being encouraged to be the best that you can be. This is a time to ask yourself, who am I? What do I want from my life? And what is preventing it, preventing me from achieving it? The bullshit. When you ask yourself these questions, observe what comes up. Then acknowledge, then acknowledge your mental and physical limitations, set realistic goals for overcoming them, and take the necessary steps to follow through. 
With desire and determination, you can reach your full potential. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to investigate anything that helps you raise your conscious awareness and enhances your self-esteem. It may be a book, a CD, an online seminar, a workshop, health program, yoga practice, meditation, working with an energy worker, a therapist, or a life coach. Get your cards read, right? Whatever suits your needs. A step in this direction, regardless of what it is, will set you up for life. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a time of significant growth and improvement. As you improve yourself, you improve your quality of life. As you raise your awareness, you align yourself with source. This is all you need to make your dreams come true. Timeline seven. If you will act on this from the time that you make the actual decision that you are going to stop serving your, your angry, oh, poor me, victim mentality flesh and decide that you are going to point your free will in the direction of your intuition, of your spirituality of your understanding of your path and your purpose. The second you do that, seven days, seven weeks, seven months, the month seven is when all of this is going to shake down. It just depends on your personal growth. What was on the bottom of the deck? Well, the Prince of Cups. It's trying to come towards you. Someone is going to come towards you the empress in reverse and the universe cannot co-create with you if you are co-creating with your flesh understanding of the way that things go. I don't want this. I don't want this person. I don't want it to be like this. I don't want them to look like that, to, 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 to have that job, to live in that neighborhood. I don't want any of this. That is you serving your flesh and not serving your higher power your 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 highest and best good the empress in reverse is about creative block the universe cannot co-create with you if you don't allow it to the hermit in reverse withdrawn isolated and lonely that is kind of sort of where you're sitting right now taurus and spirit wants you to re-engage so they can point you in the direction that you need to go growth Growth, growth is the key to having a beautiful and peaceful life. Keep growing, keep learning. Don't be stagnated in some kind of some kind of, of painful lesson from your past. Do not let that dictate your future. Grow, little Taurus, grow, and spirit will show you the way. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.